Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sriya, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul video. I went away from YouTube for like five or six months, and in that period, I collected some makeup that I'm going to be showing you today. In total, I collected 25 things. But in those 25 things, we have some kits, and that has more makeup. So if in total I tell you the number of products that I have to show you guys today, there are 37 products. Yes, that's a lot of products. I feel, and if this video gets long. Now you know why. So you can grab a drink or a snack. I have my drink right here. It's just plain water in my fancy cup or tumbler. And uh, if you still feel the video is a little long, you can just increase the speed of the video and then watch it because I don't want you guys to get bored. So now I think let's not waste any more time and let's straight get on to this haul. So I'm going to show you all the products in the order we apply them. So first, I have this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Face Oil. This is the rose hip fragrance oil, and this is what the component looks like. It's a very nice dark glass bottle. Oils are generally stored in this kind of bottle only. And I kid you not, this has been my favorite go-to oil now since the time I'm using it. I've been using it for like a month now, and my mom loves this. I love this. My friend used this, and she loved this. Because it leaves your skin so super soft, and this was like kind of affordable. Also, it was just for 500 bucks. Otherwise, normally oils are for like thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand bucks, and I did not want to spend so much on an oil for my first time. So I took this oil from Palmer's, and it has been doing wonders to my skin. I can really feel the difference. My skin is feeling nice and soft, and all those good things. Moving on, I have this Sheva Aloe Vera Gel. This is the organic and pure aloe vera gel. I got this on discount from Nykaa. It was for hundred and ten bucks, I think. And uh, this is just a normal aloe vera gel. I don't have a lot to talk about this. This is normal. This is cooling. And it has a nice fragrance. It has a fragrance to it, so it's not like pure aloe vera gel. It has some fragrance to it. So yeah, if you are looking for a good aloe vera gel, you can try this one out. Next, I have a lip scrub, and I was looking for a lip scrub for a long time now. And I got this Alana Naturally Beautiful Choco Nutty Lip Scrub. This has eight grams of product in it, and this is what the component looks like. This is a really nice, cute little jar of lip scrub. This is not a liquid form, like paste form. It's like a powder, so you have to like rub it on your lips, and it makes your lips soft and smooth. It also has a protective. Cap on it to protect the powder. I feel it does the job. It's I I won't say it's like I love love this lip scrub, but it's pretty good. And if you want to try a lip scrub, you can definitely go for this one. It has a very nice taste. It, it tastes chocolatey, and this is I feel this is organic, right? It's hundred percent natural and handmade. So yeah, I'll try to link it down below. So check the description box for that. Next, I got a moisturizer. This is the Plum Hello Aloe Caring Day Moisturizer. At first, I really like this moisturizer, but then I am not a fan of this moisturizer. I don't use it anymore because I think it causes some itchiness around this area of mine. It's not the smoothest. It does not hydrate too much. It does not give you too much moisturization. It's like I don't know. It is a weird moisturizer. I won't recommend you to spend 450 bucks on this small moisturizer, but still, if you want to try it, it might suit you. But for me, it's not working the best. Next, let's move on to makeup, and I have this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I don't think I need to explain what is this because this is a very famous primer. It's the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, oil free, and this is actually my first high end product. And I did not buy this. Someone, my relative, gifted it to me. So this is what the primer looks like. Very basic, very nice. And I have used this just once. So I'm thinking to do a full face of new makeup, wherein I'm going to be trying all of this stuff. So wait for it. I've heard so many good things about this primer that leaves your face flawless and the pictures turn out beautiful. So I really can't wait to try it out. Moving on, I got this Wet n Wild concealer. This is the Photo Focus concealer in the shade Medium Tawny. This shade matches me perfectly, and I love this concealer. This is my first liquid concealer. And this gives you medium coverage, a very natural, good finish, and it is not cakey. It blends well. It's all sorts of good things, and it was very affordable also. So if you're looking for a good concealer, you might want to try this out. Moving on to the eyes, I have a lot of stuff for eyes because I love eye makeup. And the first thing I have in my hand is this Swiss Beauty Liquid Eyeshadows. I have been trying to get my hands on this since forever. It's always sold out on Nykaa, so I went. 
to my mall. There's a Swiss beauty counter in the mall, so I got it from there. This is for 200 bucks, and this is a very, very pretty color. This is in the shade 05 Rose Gold Retro, and I just love this color. It's so reflective, it's so shiny, and these are copy for Stila liquid eyeshadows those retail for 2000 bucks and this is for 200 bucks so it's definitely a steal and i love 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 this one next up i have two eye pencils these are both from aveda aveda is also now available in india it's i think a high-end brand so i have the petal essence eye definer in the shade 981 gypsum gold and this is a very pretty color this is a golden color and I love to apply it in my inner corners. You can highlight your brow bone with this or you can basically do anything you feel. I have two of these and I really really love this pencil. Moving on, I have a super exciting thing which I was waiting for like so much time. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. This is a colorful oh my god. A colorful oh Sorry. This is a very colorful palette. I wanted a colorful palette from so freaking long and are you ready? This is so pretty. Isn't this the prettiest? This has so many colors, so many colorful colors and I just love this palette. This has amazing pigmentation. Like it's not like level 100 pigmented but it's like nicely decently pigmented. And I'm thinking to do a tutorial on this and a review on this palette. So if you want to see that, leave it in the comments down below. And I got it from an Instagram store. Don't worry, it's not a fake palette. I know when a palette is original and not, I got it from Makeup Bitten. I'll leave the handle in the bottom bar. I'm not very impressed by their service, but I got the palette, so that's okay. Moving on, I have another Smashbox product. This is the Smashbox Light It Up palette this is a kit which has three palettes which three mini palettes one for eyes one for contour and one for lips it's a beautiful beautiful box so i just will take this out and you can see the box right here this is a neon pink box i can store my makeup in general also in this so you open it it has a clear lid which says smashbox smashbox and then we have the palettes right here so these are the three palettes i'll be showing you one by one so first i'll be showing you the eye palette these are very mini very cute and packaging i live for the packaging is so so nice and very like i love the packaging so this is the eye palette it has cute little colors very basic colors perfect for everyday neutral glam and this has a little cute mirror also so I'll be showing you another palette also now. This one is for the lips. This has so many beautiful colors. One red, nudes, mauves, pinks, browns. It has like everything that you would need in a lip palette. And again, it has a cute little mirror. And the last one is the contour palette, which has three colors. One is a dark brown, one is a taupey grayish brown, perfect for natural contour like nose. Nos. Like nose contour or something and one is a cream shade so I love these three palettes and the component that it comes in I love this one next I have a mascara and oh my god this mascara I'm not kidding you guys this is the essence get big lashes volume boost mascara this is the waterproof version this is so freaking good if you are looking for a waterproof mascara, just go for this one. Straight up close your eyes and go for this one. This is so freaking amazing. It leaves your lice, lice. It leaves your lashes so voluminous, so thick, so amazing. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see. But this is an amazing mascara. At first it wasn't very easy to use because it has a fat thick wand. And the mascara used to get in my eyelids. But once I got hold of it, it works amazing. And yeah, one thing about this mascara is that if you apply it without curling your lashes, it won't give you the best effect. Because it does not lift your lashes on its own, you have to use a curler. Without curler, I don't see like very great results with it. But when I curl my lashes with a lash curler and then I apply this mascara, it performs absolutely amazing. And I really, really love this mascara. Next, I have this Freedom Bronzer. This is a bronze professional bronzer 
This powder gives you a very very natural look. It still gives you a very nice sculpt but also looks very natural on your skin, at least on my skin tone. And I really enjoy this bronzer so if you're looking for a good one, you can give this a shot. Moving on, I have this little thing which is not so little. I have this huge makeup revolution kit. This is the ultimate, sorry, oh my god. This is the, um, what is this? Sorry. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Essentials Kit. I absolutely freaking lutely love this kit. This has so much makeup and it's really an essential kit. If you're a beginner and if you're looking for something that has all of it, I think this kit would be a good go-to because it has, let me open it, okay? This has so much stuff. Oh my God. This has a flat brush, a eye primer, which is mediocre. An eye palette, a face brush like a foundation brush, a blending brush, contour, highlight and a blush palette, a lip palette, mm, what do we call this? Eyebrow kit with three colors for eyebrows, one wax and a one cream highlighter and two big highlighters, one is pink and one is golden. This is a little expensive, this retails for 4500 rupees but I think for so many products it's kind of worth your money. So if you're a beginner and if you're looking for something, this might be something to consider and now let's move on to another thing which is these makeup clips and these are the alligator hair clips I got from Miniso these were very cheap these were for 150 rupees for one two three four five hair clips to like tie my hair when I do makeup tutorials because someone is always commenting oh my god wish your hair back it's coming all the way it's so irritating oh my god so I got these hair clips to push my hair back and now you won't have to cringe Next up I got a highlighter and not that I have any less of highlighters but I got this jelly highlighter from Swiss Beauty Cosmetics. Now jelly highlighters for Sali Jelly Beam was the OG of jelly highlighters and Swiss Beauty came up with a jelly highlighter and an Indian company coming up with a trendy product. I have to get my hands on it, okay? This works amazing. This is so good. It's not like very jelly-like consistency, but it's like a gel-like consistency, I would say. It's not very bouncy and stuff, but it gives you amazing pigmentation. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer particles. It's like glow. It's not like shimmery and chunky. So I really enjoy this highlighter and it was for 300 bucks, if I'm not wrong. So if you're looking for a good highlighter, like a liquid highlighter, you can get your hands on this one. Moving on, I have a pair of lashes, which are like really, really cheap lashes. I, you won't believe them how much I got them for. Take a guess. I got them for 20 bucks. Freaking 20 bucks. These are not the best lashes because obviously the price speaks for itself. These are very plasticky. It's not the best, doesn't look good on eyes, doesn't feel comfortable. So I'm not gonna wear them, but to try them out like for 20 bucks I thought these would look good and natural and all but they don't but I don't regret it because it was just for 20 bucks not that I don't care about my 20 bucks but still it's okay don't buy cheap lashes I love my lashes from Club Factory, from Wish, from Shein they all work amazing but super cheap lashes take a skip just buy something from Shein or Club Factory they would work amazing Moving on, I have a lot of lip products. These are hair. I love, love, love lipsticks. And I'm thinking to buy more makeup, you know? I'm thinking to buy more makeup. Not that I need any more, but I need a reality check, I think. So first, let's start with two lip liners that I have. These are both from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Plumberry and this is in the shade Chestnut. I had Plumberry but I lost it somewhere so I repurchased this color. This has been one of my favorite colors. And I also really like this color. This is a brownie, maroonish kind of a color and this is a very mauvey, purpley kind of a color. I love this one. Then moving on, I have a powder matte lipstick from Maybelline. This is in the shade Raw Cocoa. This is a very pure brown kind of a color it has no hints of pink in it so I don't really wear this color I kind of wasted my money on this color because it doesn't really good look on me good look on me good look on me sorry it doesn't really look good on me because it's like too brown for me I want something that has more hints of pink in it next I have two lipsticks from clean color one is a very pretty red color which has some golden flecks in it 
this is the color and next up i have this deep plum maroonish color i love this color my mom loves this color she wears it all the time and clean color is a drugstore brand from the us it's not available in india these are for one dollar each i believe it's so freaking cheap and it's so good these are super creamy long lasting and they give you kind of a demi matte finish and i absolutely love the formula and the colors of these lipsticks next up okay i have an eye pencil i thought this was a lip liner but whatever this is the miss clear glimmer sticks for eyes in the shade pearl white i have heard really really good things about this pencil so i got this one this is very very white it stays on for okay like 2 3 hours but it's not bad i like this pencil and for i think how much rupees was it 120 or 60 rupees for that much amount of money i think this is a good pencil next i just have three lipsticks this has three in it and these are two so i have five lipsticks in total so this one is the nikka k true matte lip color in the shade turkish rose This is a very very pretty dusty rose kind of a color and it would look amazing on fair skin tones. For my skin tone it kind of kind of washes me out a little but with lip liner I can make it work and this smells like antibiotics like the the vibe we used to eat in bachman that we used to hate. It smells like that but the color is really pretty. Next up I have a gloss from Pet and Wild. This is the Mega Slick lip gloss. It's a clear lip gloss which is clearly pink now because i used to apply it on the top of my lipstick so it has turned this way but this is a pretty normal gloss your hair sticks to it and what else do i have to say about glosses i think that's it next up i have lip trio from bolly glow bolly glow is an indian company i love that indian companies are coming out with good good products with fancy packaging fancy concepts and like good products in general This is the Bolly Glow Lip Trio in the shade Raw Footage. It has three lipsticks. One is a matte lipstick. Second is a cream lipstick, which gives you a creamy finish. And third one is a gloss. So I love the concept that you get all three in one trio. This trio retails for seven ninety five rupees, I believe. This matte one looks good on me. The pink one kind of washes me out a little, and the gloss, it's universal. It looks good. The gloss has some kind of the reflective shimmers in it like pink and gold so i really like the gloss i'm just not a fan of the pink lipstick that washes me out oh my god i need got that i'm just not a fan of the pink lipstick that washes me out otherwise i think this is amazing so guys i think that was it for my makeup haul i um, i finished it quite quickly i believe now and i don't think the video would be too long but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video these were all the products that i have right now some are on the way i'm getting more makeup not that i need any more but makeup brings me happiness makeup brings me joy and i love to collect new makeup new launches anything that's related to makeup so yeah this was everything that i had and if you want to see review of anything from the video literally anything you can leave it in the comments down below i will review it for you guys i want to review a lot of things from this video be it the take me back to brazil palette the makeup revolution kit i'm also thinking to review the jelly highlighter the face oil the smashbox kit the swiss beauty liquid eye shadow so i don't know how much can i review but if you want me to review anything specific leave it in the comments down below i'll surely surely review it for you guys and i think now let's give this video a closure and i'll see you in my next one super super soon till then bye bye and also don't remember that i'm going to do a full face of trying this all out so definitely keep your eyes on that one and for that you can click the bell button so that it notifies you whenever i post that video so don't miss out and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye bye